here, please. Single shot. Come with me, sniper rifle. Maybe there's only one of them. Wow, you sound almost sure of yourself. Is this why I'm breaking up? Yeah, Carly. I jumped in with you guys so we could all get shot. Both of you shut up. And he accepts shooting. He's waiting for a clean shot. He missed. Why is he going to wait around for Jason to shoot back? Why don't you go out there and see if he's waiting to take another shot? Both of you be quiet. You gotta stay dead. We have to find out who we're dealing with here, Jason. How about you do what you're told before you get us all hey, killed? Hey, listen to me. Listen. I'm gonna start firing. When I do, you two run for the alley. No way. No way. We all stay or we all go. I'm not leaving you. It's been a long time since he fired. He... Snipers will wait days for a clean shot. Days. Okay. Hey. Pay attention. Okay. On the count of three, we're gonna run for the alley. Jason. Okay. No, not okay. Well, she might have blind faith in you, but I do well, not. You, you got a better plan? No. One. Two. All clear. Okay. okay, I'm okay. You took a big risk there. If the sniper had stayed, he could have he could have dropped you. You disappointed about that? You know, let me just remind you, I'm the one who called out the warning shot, okay? So anybody wants to throw a thank you my way. Your timing was a little too perfect. How do we know you didn't set this whole thing up? Oh yeah, because being in the line of fire is so much fun, isn't it? You stayed behind the crates. You made sure you weren't hit. Okay, you know what? I admit it. I set the whole thing up because I wanted Jason dead. Oh, but why didn't I let the sniper drop him? What were you doing here? Johnny took the mayor's car and he left it down here when he took off with Lulu. And I keep thinking that maybe they're hiding out down the warehouse district. Hey, if you don't believe me, you think I'm lying? Then get rid of me. I'm sure Carly would be happy to be your alibi. To say it, but I believe her. I think Karpov was behind this. Oh, whoever it was, you could, you could be dead right now. But I'm not why, dead. Why don't, I'm why fine. don't you listen to me? I was following no, a lead, you got, Jason. you got the information off Karpov's PDA, then you lied to me. I didn't lie to you. You could okay, be dead right tell... now. You always say you're worried about losing me. It goes both ways. No, let's go. Business. I don't know how mad you get at me. You needed me, and I'm not going to desert you. Yeah, what she said. Positing the PDA that the Valkyrie stole to a place where Karpov might have believed he lost it. The jackal was uncharacteristically taken by surprise by the Slavic seductress and two hulking guards of Eastern European descent. I got us out of it. How? Just be uh, glad that I did, okay? But now that Spinelli's cover has been made, he's going to be way more careful, right? Yes, I will be on sharp laser-like alert for both myself and Maximista. We all need to be careful. Karpov made an attempt on Jason's life tonight. We have to figure out a way to back him off. I agree. Wait, oh, hold on. There's no we here, okay? The two of you are not involved in this. And Carly, if you go near Karpov again, I'm going to personally drag you down to Sunny's Island and put you under guard. Now, I'm asking nicely... Please leave. Since you asked so nicely. Maxie. You too, please. Okay, uh, okay. But only after you promise to watch out for Spinelli. I don't think they bought my story about us having crazy sex in the warehouse. I'm sorry, Spinelli. I know that subject embarrasses you, but Jason needs to know all the details if he's going to keep you safe. Okay, Spinelli's going to be fine. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Most assuredly. So now the master has witnessed his grasshopper's most dire dilemma. Okay, just... God, I just lament the fact that she sees me as someone that needs to be protected. Okay. You know, it's, it's... It's... It's time. For what? To prove to her and to Stone Cold that... The jackal is manned up. I gotta go, Mom. 
I gave you strict instructions to tell no one that I'd gone off with Karpov. I was worried about you. So you ratted me out to Jason, of all people? Look, you are a great boss and a great lady. And I don't want to lose my job, but I can't stand around while you're putting yourself in danger. Jason's your friend, and you trust him. And and with Mr. Jax out of town, I thought he was exactly... Don't interfere again. I want you to send another bottle of vodka to Karpov with my compliments and put on the note that I'm sorry we were interrupted. Please. Uh, Carly, do you have a minute? Sure, what's up? Um, Spinelli worships Jason, and I was just wondering if maybe you can make sure that Jason watches out for Spinelli. Jason does watch out for Spinelli. I know, it's just Jason's kind of a blockhead. I mean, he dodges bullets for fun and profit. And... Okay, I don't really want to hear that. I'm sorry. It's just Spinelli's my best friend, and... I can really talk to him about anything. It doesn't matter if it's crazy or embarrassing or stupid. And trust me, I've covered all of those bases. He just never judges me, and he's always really loyal. I know he would do anything in the world for me. And believe it or not, I would do anything in the world for him, too. That's kind of why I'm here. I mean, if Spinelli's in danger, I just, I can't sit on the sidelines and let him get hurt. I know exactly how you feel. This is the closest match to the bullet casing found at the scene where Stone Cold was most recently almost assassinated. A Russian-made rifle. Yeah, so it appears the Valkyrie was correct. The ambush was arranged by Comrade Karpov. I mean, anyone can get their hands on a Russian gun. Must I remind Stone Cold of his skepticism regarding coincidence? Okay, I, I just don't want to jump to any conclusions. It doesn't make sense. If Karpov make a move, he's working with Sonny. Yeah, but what alternative conclusion can be reached? Somebody else might be involved. The Jekyll sense is that Stone Cold may be reluctant to retaliate against Karpov because he fears Mr. Sir might get caught in the crossfire. You're right, I don't. Okay, then further information must be gathered, which we will do at our stakeout of Comrade Karpov's warehouse.